now we have the rules of stopping which is called waqf so when you stop on one fatha one dhamma one kasra two dhamma or two kasra that letter will become sakin meaning it will be read with the jism if a stop is made on two fatha two zabar you make it one alif long and if you stop on a round tha tha marbuta is called tha, round tha it doesn't matter what arab it has it will become ha and if you stop on standing fatha it will also be one alif long everything else will be sakin so let's look at the first words pronounce every letter properly and clearly a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem you see we stopped on jimi so there's a kasra on mim so that will become sakin jim a'udhu a hamza in the beginning so don't pronounce the ain in the beginning a'udhu so a a u pronounce all the letters clearly remember do not stretch in the wrong places a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem next one so pronounce this practice this a'udhu billahi with all the letters properly about 50 times make sure because you're going to read this all the way throughout your life so get everything perfect and clear and the next one as well I'll every one of them next one bismillahir rahmanir rahim see we here stopped on the mim kasra so the mim will be sakin and the, you see the lam of allah is empty mouth because there's a kasra behind it so again practice it 50 times very clearly bismillahir rahmanir rahim next one alhamdu si the there's a sakin on al on, on the lam there is the lam is not a qalqala letter so don't say alham alhamdu alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin So you stopped on this fatha one fatha it becomes sakin rabbil a a instead of a there's a ain here again alhamdulillah rabbil alamin again practice it 100 times or 50 times at least alhamdulillah rabbil alamin next one you have we stopping on a one dhamma so it becomes sakin as well at the end iyyaka there's a tashdid in the ya so push it iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in na'budu there's just just one dhamma the, the dal is not long na'budu wa iyyaka that's wrong so na'budu iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in nasta'in not nasta'in 
إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين Next one we are going to stop on two dhamma. So tanwin two dhamma. The dal will become sakin at the end. Ahad. So qul huwa Allahu ahad. Big qaf qul huwa Allahu a. A. Don't miss out the hamza. Instead of reading the hamza you read huwa ahad. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ هُوَ أَحَدٌ again قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ you see we stopped on a dal which has dhamma two dhammas so the dal will become sakin and because the dal is a qalqala letter you'll make qalqala on it as well قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ Next one, in that you see the noon mushaddad, so it will become gunna as well. And we are stopping on two fatha. So when you stop on two fatha, it becomes one alif long. You just read one fatha. In ma'al usri yusra. In there's no qalqalan seen usri usri again in ma'al usri yusra Next one we're going to stop on around ta. It doesn't matter what Arab it has, it will be sakin and it will become hamza. Fiha ainu jariya. Ainu because there's a tanwin here and after the tanwin there's a letter of ikhfa jim. So you make ikhfa as well. Fiha ainu jariya. Again. Fiha ainu jariya. So practice it 50 times. Next one, we're going to stop on two kasra. Then we in two kasra, so the round ta will become ha. Tusqamin aynin aniya. You see, there's tanwin here, and after the tanwin, there's a hamza. So you make izhar of nun, izhar of nun sakin and tanwin. And there's a noon sakin as well. Of, and after that, there's a ayn. Again, same rule. Tusqa min aynin aniya. Tusqa min aynin aniya. So repeat it 50 times. Next one, we're going to stop on two fatha and they will become um, sakin as well because we're stopping on a round tha and that round tha will become ha. La tasma'u fiha la La tasma'u fiha. لا تسمع not همزة لا تسمع لا تسمع again لا تسمع فيها لا غية repeat again 
Remember to repeat it 50 times, all of them. لا تسمع فيها لاغية إلهنا ما أعدلك ملك كل من ملك